Told him the grass was greener with an endless flood of possibilities. Hungry for a better life, now he's stumbling over foreign phonetics and verb tenses. They laughing at his accent. It's not an accident that his master's in economics isn't honored. When they say you don't belong here with your long beard and a towel around your head. Hear what was said? So can the hate. Can you relate? Life of an immigrant. I was like down, my head was always down. I was always talking down and when people talk to me, it's like they couldn't even hear me. At the heart of community development is being present and being available for people, being able to be there to reach out to them and touch them. And I feel that it might still be a hang up of, of the South Asians or maybe of all colored people who come to this country who feel to take control is somehow they aren't good enough for it. In 2008, after years of planning and hard work, the black community in Malton, Ontario initiated a plan to build up their community. Working with community agencies, a hugely successful leadership program, parenting groups and community engagement brought excitement and pride. I think having an opportunity to work very closely at the grassroots level with people in the community from various backgrounds is something that is a, a tremendous uh, opportunity, but it's also a privilege and an honor. We are very lucky that we have a, uh, the Malton Community Building Project in the black community, and it's already going on very strongly. So we are lucky that we are following in their footsteps. They have done uh, some innovative work within the black community. Come with us as we show you what building your community can look like. Building Project presents Malton United. So our typical morning, uh, sometime around six, everybody starts getting ready. Uh, there's four children. My husband's getting ready for work. We get a little bit of FaceTime in the morning. So uh, usually I'll do the slow cooker um, with some oatmeal. Uh, then we hop in the car, I drop Sable off to high school, and uh, then we take uh, Sovereign Shalom and uh, Sojourn over to the grade school. High school ain't about like all grades and stuff, so you gotta be like popular and stuff, it's like clicks and stuff. Most of the people are like popular and they get more friends and the other people they feel shy and stuff so they don't want to like go up to them talk to them so just they just stay alone. Well Sable was never really a troubled child but she had some challenges making friends, uh, paying attention in school, completing assignments so we worried about her being able to have successes in high school. And when we heard about the leadership program, we thought that leadership would be a really good umbrella under which she could strengthen certain skills. taking a collaborative approach to pro towards providing leadership development opportunities in that we would work in conjunction with other partners to provide leadership training and then also provide opportunities for young people to take those skill sets that they've been empowered with and in turn give back to the community by volunteering. The most important thing we can do with these young folks is to challenge them because they will surprise you. When you really get into this program, you realize that what they're teaching you is happening in everyday life and that you should just take their advice into consideration and try and use it 
on um, what's going on in your life. The last day was very emotional. Everybody like really brought down and they really talked about themselves and you know everybody like they just got open more and we actually felt like a family on the last day. Yeah, <laughs> most positive family um, you would ever find in Malton. <laughs> we all came together no matter if we went to Morningstar, Darcelle, Lincoln, Ascension, no matter what age, color, it doesn't matter. We all came together, we became friends. It's a huge emotional and psychological impact for a lot of these young people. Some of them have never been into the downtown core before and that could have been uh, a first trip ever downtown. This isn't something that they're seeing on TV. This is the actual Premier of Ontario um, who is right in front of them, speaking to them, encouraging them and motivating them to pursue their dreams and ambitions and desires. The black community, along with the South Asian community, through the Malton Building Project has put together different programs that will enhance our youth potential in the community and will also help us to work together as a community. And anything that expands the youth's worldview and gives them an opportunity to see something they might not normally have seen. They might sit at home and watch something like MTV or you know watch a program that I'm a part of, but for it to come close, for them to come in and see, hey wait a minute, it's not that far, it might be just a bus ride away from me. It, it just expands their, their worldview and makes something that might have seemed impossible to them seem really possible. We all need a place where we are loved, where we are cared for, we are not pushed around. That way we blossom to the best of our ability. So that's my readiness center and you'll, you'll see parents come here, grandparents come here, caregivers from different agencies, you know, they bring their children here. We learn so much from the grandparents about their culture, about her their heritage, and that makes our country so rich. In Malton, many in the community naturally congregate in the region's churches and gudwara. MCBP actively engaged these organizations to connect with as many residents as possible to ensure a truly inclusive project. We started sharing stories with each other and from there I got a kind of sense that uh, we should be involved like you know with other communities too. We invited families like uh, to our place and they, we also visited their place and by that way we come to know that we are also the same way as they are. The diversity poses I guess perceived challenges, you know, when people aren't cool with people who aren't like them. But at the same time, you know, you're heavily, you become influenced by the communities around you. The way I wrap my head, it's like, I was actually heavily influenced by a friend of mine that got really heavy into the Bible and into the Rastafarianism. And uh, it's the same thing when you start meeting Rastas. They, start, they look like you, and you know, they're doing beers and turkeys. We, we kind of tie our hair closer to the back of our head. So when we wrap our head, it, it goes backwards. As opposed to like if you went to Punjab, these guys tie their heads like as close to the foreheads as possible. A 
The Malton Community Building Project has been able to uh, bring together uh, various community-based groups within Malton. One of the latest examples is coming together of Malton Women Council and uh, Malton Moms, which are strong women's empowerment group based in Malton. When you bring uh, communities such as the South Asian and Black Caribbean community together in such an environment as the Malton Community Building Project, they can share their tips and their tools that they're using, and by sharing that, they can improve their diet. And also that they can actually share the resources they're using so that those other seniors that are unaware of those resources can then access them. At the Malton Community Building Project, we offered free parenting programs and this is to let them know that we care about them, we understand their experiences and we are there for them. Then the phone call starts, somebody needs help, somebody needs food, somebody needs a job, somebody needs clothing. So I'm a conduit. I don't actually bring the food or the clothes or that, but I know where the service is and where they can access those uh, items that they need. of my LIT leadership and training program, I have a greater understanding of civic engagement, an understanding of how I can make change in my community and taking actual steps to make it happen. From this, I have gained self-confidence. I realized I had the patience and skills to do child minding in the community. I then set a goal for myself to actually get my own laptop computer to set up my business. And I'm happy to say that I was able to save and now I own my own laptop. What I'd like to do next is help plan out how we can get a youth center going. My friends and I would like it to offer healthy food, technology for us to use, creative workshops, and after school programs. I'd like it to be an inclusive space, one that invites and welcomes everyone, not just one specific group. This is a unique community collaboration. I think that this project can really put Malton on the map to prove that diversity does not separate, it can integrate the community. I think that um, what has made this initiative so successful is the fact that it is grassroots. Organizations have come together because the, the residents have have identified the issues and have wanted and requested assistance from various organizations to come in and help them, to work with them. And I think it could be, it's an excellent model that could be replicated in communities around the world. The MCBP was made possible by the support of the Ontario Trillium Foundation. With their financial assistance, we were able to set up volunteer advisory boards to direct the various projects and the management board to make sure the activities were carried out. The coordinators of the Malton Community Building Project were instruments of action who mobilized the community which resulted in the Black and South Asian communities coming together and working together. Sky to find the skates, we the stars to navigate.